given to two integers representing the numerator and denominator fraction, return the fraction in a string format. If the fraction part is repeating, enclose the repeating part in parentheses. Okay. So you have the numerator and denominator and you, you basically divide it. And if you have a, like a repeating decimal, you have to put that in the parentheses. Something like this. Hmm. Okay, in order for you to do this, I think you need to know some basic math. Right, you can't technically, uh, one option is to like basically just convert to a string and then try to find repeating one using a string, but that would be a bit not that uh, optimal to, to do. So the best way to probably f solve this is basically have to um, use uh, use some math here. How, 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 do, you, how do you basically uh, divide the number and then uh, store that modulo in the store that uh, remainder in the hash map. So if you found a particular um, repetition in of um, or remainder in the hash map, you basically has a, you basically have a repeating one. So like I could probably take this as an example. So I have a sketch sketch pad here. So usually you have like. In this one you have three 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 four okay so you have three 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 you divided by four and yes so initially it's 40 got a zero and you have four zero you drop zero four hundred you put one three 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 then you got a uh, seven sixty seven put a zero here you got two and then uh, basically this is six six and uh, six so you got four okay so this is where the repeating comes in so you see that there's a four here and there's a four here so you be, if you put a zero here, then you repeat the same pattern. So you got a zero, so this one becomes zero. And then you, you basically have the same pattern all over again. 400 here, so you get a one here. And then you got a two, and so on and so on. So you need to put a parenthesis on this part, right? So basically the idea here is to store all of this remainder one this one all the remainder in the hash map so when you see a four and then you see that it's already existing the four you basically just have to like check the hash map it's already there if it's already there then put a parenthesis and then close it yeah so basically that's a basic basic way of uh, the, the 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 way to solve this problem okay so yeah we can probably start coding um right uh so you need a string to store your soul right that's uh some storing which is empty and then then you have the numerator which probably just make it n and d and uh, divided by my d is the So basically, you have to append it. Okay, you need to convert it to a string, which is CR con V. I do I. I do I, right? To convert the string. Yeah. Yeah, it's all it's all. I don't know how you pronounce this, but it's quite a popular package in C. Uh, okay, this is the whole part, and then you have the remainder part. 
which is uh, remainder part is n is mod equals to uh, denominator. And this is the remainder. And then you have the fraction, so you have to append a uh, dot there. So this is where uh, we go with our, um, so from this example, you got, basically the whole fraction is zero, which is which we divide then we have the remainder, which is this, right? So we're gonna get into the loop until it became it's a, a zero, or you found the repetition. So, so your exit condition is like while, um, and it's not equal to zero. And you need the hash map. So create the hash map here. Asian. Or the int, in something like this. That's how you initialize hash map. Go that way. And then uh, if check basically if um, remainder, which is n, if it's in the hash map is not equal to zero. So we put an else here. Basically store that remainder. Okay, what do we store? We store the position where we want to insert the parentheses. So um, in this case, it's the length of the string, right? Because basically you start off from here and you want to insert from there. So basically it's the length, the length of S. Okay. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's say uh, you got four row. So what are we storing here? Basically, it's it's like the division, right? So this is uh, 400 divided by, by 3333. So you basically divide that. Um, so that's a division here. So you store the result to the division, uh, which is uh, n divided by, by d, OK? And, uh, and after you divide it like this, so basically you got a remainder which is four, and then you add a zero, right? You always add a zero at the back if you can't divide it. which means you always have to multiply uh, in this case uh, n times equal 10 and then you try to divide it in this case you divide it by 0 you got you got a 40 if 40 divided by 3 3 3 uh, uh, it's impossible to to divide it so you put a zero here you got a zero here right Mm. Yeah, and then you need to do a mod, actually, right, 40 mod 0 will give you 40 back here, yeah, you need to do a mod, so, uh, so in here you have to end mod Calls D. Okay, you should probably put it here. And then okay, let's say let's say you found it, you found a hash map. If you found if you found it in the hash map, like for example this one, like you found a four here, all we really need to do is just put a parenthesis and then exit out of the condition. So we, we set n to zero so we can exit out of the condition. And then 
basically from our string basically string is equal to uh we put this in a variable let's say in i to from starting zero until i you append a parenthesis and then starting i until the end then you add the closing parenthesis return s mm -hmm. okay this one you need to again convert the you can simply add that to a string okay will this work uh, we probably have some problem but let's try it out Okay, you don't have a while so for okay this is not the way to do it you go so far actually okay it works actually for 0.5 then you just write the other cases like two maybe this one and you put it like that and you need to take note of the negative number as well right okay this one this one okay you basically don't want to append if n is equal to zero this is the only time you append so you do want to take care of uh, negative values like um if and it's less than zero or d is greater than zero and or basically uh, e and end right then or and it's greater than zero d is less than zero then you append uh, s you take s with a dash sign so it's assigning it as a negative okay let's write out probably miss a few more Okay, let's try this for the value of five, two, three, three. Okay, it's, wor it's working, seems to be working. Let's submit it. Okay, okay, now we have a problem. Okay, there's a multiple dash, I think we need to do an absolute here for n so that we don't get into this problem so yeah we can do a uh, map that abs but this one is a uh, float so this a problem with the goal like it doesn't have a like a function to then you do an int here Similar case with the D. So negative fifty divided by eight. That's just to prevent all the okay seems to be working uh what if we just remove this and let them do the negation well the problem is you don't know if it's a negative number 
or you can add a negative at the bottom. Yeah, because you were building the string and you need to know if it's a negative number or not. Okay, it works. So I guess that's it. Yeah, we got it working. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the other, um, so basically you need to know some, some mathematical formula here else uh, you won't really be able to solve this. And basically, if you know the pattern of uh, like how the division of the fraction and the repeating decimal works, you should be able to make it work, right? right? Yeah, or basically it's half one hundred percent here. Okay, I think that's it. Um, yeah, thank you for uh, for watching. That's that's a quick one. I'm gonna end this soon. Yeah, let's see what's the quality of this after I've 